Hello everyone, welcome to the first Swift tutorial. After we got familiar with Objective-C in previous tutorials, now it's time for Swift. This is the new programming language from Apple. In this tutorial, we will learn how to download the Xcode, create a Hello World app, and we will explain some different parts of the Xcode. So let's move on. The first thing we need to do for iOS development is to have the ID or environment for developing the app. So I already explained it on my previous tutorial, so if you go to hackstack.com, it will direct you to hackstack.blogspot.com. And if you navigate to the very first tutorial, which was on 2013, December, it's still valid. And if you click on and open it, it will explain uh, with the a video how you can download the Xcode. Now creating the Hello World app for Swift is almost identical with uh, Hello World app for Swift. So if you look at the part 2 tutorial which was about uh, Hello World app, it's almost identical except one part that I can show you here. When you create a new project uh, instead of language Objective-C you have to choose Swift. That's all different for Hello World app. So in order to just watch this tutorial, click the link that you see on the screen, or you can go to hockstack.com and choose the part two Hello World app tutorial. One of the basic rules for coding is avoid code duplication. If you see I'm referring you to my previous tutorials for these things, I'm just avoiding the duplication. So I just don't want to explain the things that I already explained and they are almost identical. So uh, for the third part uh, that is uh, defining the different part of the X code, uh, you can just go to the third tutorial and uh, watch it uh, entirely. And uh, of course, some icons has changed, but uh, the placement of the icons stayed the same. For example, if you see these icons uh, are not on that tutorial, it's because they have changed the icon, but not the functionality. So just uh, watch that tutorial and you can compare the differences. And also the other things that has changed is basically because of the Swift, uh, it's Swift files right now. We used to have uh, .h and .m file for each class uh, of Objective-C, but in Swift we just have one class representing uh, a class. So that's all um, basic uh, differences between Objective-C and Swift in terms of the look and feel.